Hello everyone, my name is Sharon and I'm here with Dr. Charles Stangor of the University of Maryland to discuss his new Introduction to Psychology textbook that he's published with Flat World Knowledge. Hi, Dr. Stangor. Hi, Sharon. Well, without further ado for our listeners, I'm going to jump right in and get started with our questions for you today. So the first question is, um, what made you decide to want to write an Introduction to Psychology textbook? Uh, well, I think the short answer is that uh, I love psychology, and uh, I think that students love it in a lot of ways because it has so many implications for people's everyday lives. Uh, it, no matter what you do, you find something in psychology that's uh, interesting and important. Uh, so maybe you're interested in brains and biology because you're looking forward to a career in health sciences or medicine. Uh, and if you are, then in psychology, you'll learn a lot about how psychologists study neurotransmitters, how they image the brain using neuroimaging machines. And uh, this study of neuroscience is one of the fastest growing fields uh, in science. And psychology is right there helping people learn about it. Uh, maybe you uh, are interested in becoming a lawyer or a politician, or maybe you, you want to enter some other kind of job that involves making decisions or that affects the, li the lives of people. So uh, psychology would help you understand how people make decisions. Uh, when are people likely to make accurate decisions? When are they li more likely to make inaccurate decisions? Should we rely more on our thoughts, or should we rely more on our feelings when we make a judgment? Uh, those are all the kinds of things that psychologists study, and they can help you understand how that happens and to answer those questions. Maybe you're interested in uh, starting, starting a family someday. And if so, you might be interested in the research of developmental psychologists. You might wonder you know, when to expect your child to start walking or talking or understanding the, the feelings and the behaviors of other people. Uh, is it what's normal for teenage behaviors? What should they do? What shouldn't they do? And psychologists can help you with that because there's a, a huge field of developmental psychology that understands and uh, can provide answers to those questions. Uh, psychologists also study just the everyday interactions of people with each other. How do you get people to like you? How do you get people to buy your products if you're trying to sell them, to visit your website? How do you get your study group to work harder on the project that they've been assigned? Uh, psychologists have answers to those questions, too, and you'll learn about that when you take psychology. And, and of course, psychology is also about the psychological difficulties and disorders that we have, that we may have. We all get depressed sometimes, and we might feel anxious. Uh, but maybe somebody you, you know or even yourself uh, is feeling a little more depressed or a little more anxious than, than normal. And, and you might wonder, what does it mean to be normal? What does it mean to be abnormal and, and how do I determine that and how do I know what I should do and psychologists have answers to those questions too they help you uh, decide uh, what kind of treatment you might want to get to understand the different types of treatment so overall psychology is a field that uh, to me is very exciting but the reason that it's exciting is because it's very practical it has a lot of implications for uh, us in our everyday lives no that's true and and um and I think students do find it very interesting, and 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 with your with your textbook, um, and I think you'll you'll be able to tell our, our audience a little bit about that. But with your textbook, they may even find it more so. Uh, which brings me to our next question, which is, what what is special and different about um, your introduction to psychology textbook than maybe some of the others on on the market? If you could talk a little bit about your approach. Well, I think that one thing that happens when students take uh, an introductory course like psychology is that there is just a lot of information. And so what I've tried to do is to focus uh, the student on the most fundamental and the most interesting and what I think are the most important parts of the field. Uh, the major focus uh, in, in my book is about behavior. Uh, I think that students really want to know. They, uh, they often... Uh, are not going to be psychologists themselves. They're going to, some will be, but others may go into other fields. And, and really what they want to take with them is the implications of psychological research for their everyday lives. How are they going to use this information in their careers? 
How are they going to use it to help them interact with other people, to understand other people, and to make good decisions about themselves? So I think that you know, five or ten years after you take this course, you're not going to remember all the details of the course. But I do hope that the student will take away uh, kind of the fundamental principles of, of why psychology matters and what's important. So, you know, in psychology, you might learn, for instance, about the, the central nervous system. That's the brain of this spinal cord. And, and depending on what your career is, you might not need to remember the details about it. But you might remember, and I hope you will, that that the central nervous system matters because it influences our emotions and it influences how we respond to stress. And so it's important to us uh, to understand how it works because we all have emotions and we all uh, experience stress at times. Uh, and you also learn in psychology about you know, a whole lot of other topics about cognition and memory and learning and consciousness and development and a whole lot of other things. And my book focuses on why those things really matter. How can we use psychology to help us better understand our own behavior and better relate to the people around us? Uh, each chapter has a couple features that are designed to link the principles of the chapter to real-world applications in business, environment, health, law, education, and other domains. Uh, for instance, there's a, an application on courtroom juries. Do they make good decisions or, or, or not, and why? And, and there's one on, on leadership, what makes a good leadership. There's one on stress, how we respond to stress. There's one on parenting. And so each chapter uh, has a goal of linking the topic to something that really matters. And uh, the existing textbooks are often very long. And I think it's difficult for instructors to cover the entire uh, topic, the entire book in, a, in one semester. So I've, I've tried to uh, kind of focus my book to be a little more concise, uh, to focus on the things that I think are really critical. Uh, and uh, I don't think we've really left anything out, but we've uh, been more careful to really try to focus on the things that, that matter. Uh, by separating the most essential topics of psychology from the ones that are, are, are less essential. So overall, I think the, the book has a little more streamlined feel than some of the competing texts. That's very good, very good. So they've got, the students have a little bit more of a concise book, professors have a little bit more of a concise or, or targeted book to, to use in their class with a behavioral approach, which is, which is hopefully going to make those students even more in, more interested in what is already an interesting topic to them. So that's great. And and for our final question today, um, I think sometimes our listeners find it interesting that, that authors choose to publish with Flat World Knowledge. So I always like to ask our authors um, what made them decide to publish with Flat World. Uh, well, I think Flat World is just a wonderful company. They have a lot of wonderful people working for them, with them, and they're trying to really change the way that textbooks are published. And I would say if you asked me five or ten years ago, I, I would have really said, listen, we have an issue here, textbooks are getting too expensive, uh, but there's a problem with the revisions, the publishers feel like they need to revise the books in order to make more sales. Uh, but nothing really ever changed, and uh, it was difficult for the publishers to to bring out new books because doing so was so expensive. And it was very difficult for students because books just kept getting more expensive. And Flat World has jumped in and said, you know, listen, we can do things differently. We can uh, think about things in a different way. So it's a great company, uh, a great business model. And hopefully I see it really as uh, what you might call a win-win-win situation. <laughs> students will win, the authors will win, and uh, the publishers in the end will win, and we'll have a model that will really, really work. And I'm, I'm very much looking forward to being involved in, in, in the company. And, and we're thrilled that you have, uh, we're thrilled that you chose to, to publish your book with Flat World Knowledge. And, and with that, uh, Dr. Stengar, I'd like to thank you for your time, um, for your um, contributions and dedication to the discipline for all of our listeners for joining us today for a handful of minutes to hear a little bit about um, the new Introduction to Psychology textbook by Charles Stangor from the University of Maryland and we hope you all will take your time to peruse it, order a desk copy and um, thank you all for listening today. Bye now.